Parametric blocks in BricsCAD are blocks which not only contain pure geometry but some additional metadata such as flip state, visibility, etc. A parametric block can be modified by modifying this metadata and no need to edit the block definition. I'll demonstrate this concept with an example. Let's start with the drawing of a door. I've shown the different positions of the door shutter in a single drawing. This is the open state and this inclined position indicates the half open state and this is the closed state. Then I have also used two arcs to indicate the door swing direction and these lines indicate the wall thickness. Now I'll block this drawing using the block command. I'll click on insert tab, create block. Now I've got the block definition dialog box. I'll give a block name as door parametric. I'll click on pick point and choose this endpoint as the insertion point. Then select entities. I'll select all these entities and give enter. Now this is converted as a block. Now I'll double click on this block to open the create or edit block definition interface. You will get the same interface using the bedit command. Next I'll click on parametric tab then parametric blocks. Over here I have various parameters that can be specified on a parametric block. I'll click on flip lines. The start point of the flip line I'll choose this midpoint and the end point as this midpoint. Now I'm asked to give a name for the flip line. I'll call it as horizontal and give enter. The flip lines will be shown with green line. Now I'll click on flip line again. I'll define a vertical flip line. Now I'm asked to specify the start of line. I'll shift right click and click on snap to middle of two points. I'll pick this end point as the first point and this as a second point. Now I've got the midpoint of the line joining those two points. Now I'm asked to specify the end point. I'll pick a point right on top. Then I'll call this flip line as vertical. Give enter. Next I'll define the alignment parameter. For that I'll use the reference curves option in the parametric blocks. So I'll click on reference curves. Now I'm asked to select the reference curves. I'll select these two lines as well as these two lines which are wall lines and I'll give an enter and if you want you can select more reference curves. I don't want that so I'll just click on accept. Now reference curves are shown in purple color. When you go to layer panel BricsCAD places the flip lines and reference curves on individual layers having respective colors. If you want you can turn off these layers at any point of time. Next we will define the visibility parameter. For that I'll click on parametric blocks, visibility states panel and here you will get a fully revamped visibility states panel. Over here we have a plus sign. Just click on that and here you can define a visibility state. I'll call this state as door state. Now I'll click on add state and I'll call the first state as open. Click on add state again. Call the next state as half open. And click on add state again and I'll call the next state as closed. Next I'll come back to open state. I'll click on the three vertical dots and make entities invisible option and I'll click on those entities which are to be made invisible. In the fully open state this entity as well as this entity should be made invisible. Now I'll click on half open state, click on the vertical dots, make entities invisible and select this entity, this one as well as this one. Now I'll click on closed state, click on the three vertical dots, make entities invisible. In the closed state all these entities should be invisible only the door panel need to be shown. Now I have defined all the required visibility states. Before saving the block, I'll change the default visibility to open so that when I insert this block, it'll be inserted with the open state. Now I'll click on block editor and save changes to the block. Let this represent a wall line and we have horizontal, vertical and inclined wall lines. Now I'll click on insert and insert block 
and here I have door parametric give OK. When I take the cursor onto this wall, you can see that it is getting automatically aligned. And when you move the mouse downwards, it is also getting flipped. I want the door to be pointed outward in this location. So give a click over here. I want the door to be pointed inward. So when I take the cursor here, it will get aligned because the alignment parameter is in action. Now over here, I want the door to be pointed outward. So I'll keep the cursor over here and give a click. Now you can see that you have inserted three instances of this door block. While inserting, you can align it and flip it. Not only that, in this case, the automatic trimming has taken place. Now I'll go to layer panel and turn off the flip line and reference curve layers. Now let's test these blocks. I'll select this block. You can flip it using the properties panel. So I'll click on properties and here you will see various parameters defined in this parametric block. You can flip it in any desired direction. Vertical or horizontal flip can be performed. You can control the door opening state. Now it is half open and closed and you can select more than one blocks at a time and you can change these parameters using the properties panel. For example, I want to make all these doors half open. So click on door state and click on half open. You can see that it's all half opened. Hence, you can change the parameters defined in the parametric block for a single block as well as for a number of blocks at a time using the properties panel. Now, let's come back to the drawing of the same door and this distance indicates the wall thickness which is 20 cm. Now let's block it again. So I'll click on insert tab, create block. I'll give the block name as door parametric. Then I'll pick this midpoint as the insertion point and I'll select all these entities and give OK. Next I'll double click on the block and I'll give OK to get the block editor interface. I'll click on parametric tab, parametric blocks and reference curves and I'll choose these lines as reference curves. Next I'll click on parameterize to parameterize the wall thickness. The parameterize option automatically adjusts the gap between the reference curves when this block is inserted on a geometry. We will see that in a while. Next we will apply a 2D geometric constraint on these entities that is the coincident constraint to make sure that all the coincident entities in this block will remain coincident. So I'll click on coincident, click on auto constraint. When I'm asked to select the entities, I'll select all these entities and give an enter. Now you can see the little coincident constraint symbol at the locations of coincident points. Next I'll click on block editor and I'll save this block. Now I'll insert the door parametric block on this wall layout. So I'll click on insert block and the door parametric block is shown here. I'll give OK. Now when I take the cursor onto this wall, you can see that it will get aligned automatically with the wall because of the reference curves you have defined. I'll make a click here. It's inserted properly. Over here it's inserted and over here it's inserted and automatic trimming took place. Now I'll insert the same door onto this wall. You can see that the wall thickness is different. Now I'll click to insert it here. It's inserted but there is an error in this location. I'll make one more insertion onto this wall which has got still lower thickness. You can see that it is inserted but there is an error over here. You can eliminate this error by applying another constraint onto these two entities so that these entities will always remain perpendicular. So I'll undo the insert command. Then I'll double click to open the block editor and I'll give OK. Click on the parametric tab. Here there is perpendicular constraint. I'm asked to select the first entity which is this line and the second entity is this line and I'll give an enter. Now you can see a perpendicular symbol over here. Next I'll come to block editor and save the block and I'll perform the same insertion on this location with a different wall thickness. So I'll click on insert block. 
I'll give OK and I'll insert it over here. You can see that it is properly inserted and there is no error. Even over here, if you insert it, it's properly inserted. This concludes the tutorial on some of the key features of parametric blocks in BricsCAD V22.